Sometimes when you start your career as an engineer, it can be very overwhelming. There are a lot of different directions that you can go. Every discipline in engineering has hundreds of jobs that you can do within that discipline. In this week's engineering management lessons video, I'm excited to have with me JC Hungerford, professional engineer and water division manager at Parametrics. JC, you're gonna talk a little bit about what you did early on in your career to help you become the successful project manager and leader that you are today. What was that step that you took early on? Yeah, early on in my career, I, I really wanted to get as much experience as I could. So um, coming out of school as a general civil engineer, I just kind of, you know, I said yes to a lot of things, whether it be uh, design, being a design drafter all the way to construction management and observation and uh, found a lot of value in getting out in the field, seeing how things are built, how they go together and how to incorporate those into our designs, uh, you know, as I came back to the office and started leading designs and managing projects myself. Um, also, you know, understands how project, or excuse me, how contractors work and what they're looking for in the field when they're putting things together. Yeah. And I really like that point because I think a lot of engineers, when they start their careers, regardless of what discipline they're in, civil, you gave as an example, could be mechanical, electrical. There are a lot of different things you can do, right? There isn't like one job description for like a civil engineer, mechanical engineer, electrical engineer. And the only way for you to really experiment and find different things that you like usually is to do what JC suggested, which is to try different things, go to your company and ask for different assignments. Some companies even have rotational programs, which is really valuable if you can get into one of those. Um, sometimes even as an intern, you can do that. But JC, it sounds like that experience for you, some of the construction observation, being out in the field continues to help you kind of to this day. Absolutely. You know, um, as I moved on to, you know, obviously larger tasks, larger projects, um, how the contractor is going to approach the project for me is really important to consider when we're putting together large design packages. And um, then once we get to construction, uh, that's where there's potential for large change orders for our clients, obviously. So helping them stay ahead of those and mitigate those the best we can is really important because that's a real opportunity to show your value is, um, you know, reducing change orders. They're like budget overruns with our design budget. They're, they're going to happen, but minimizing those is something I pride myself on. And so understanding how the project's going to progress through construction, you can stay a step or two ahead of that contractor, identify potential issues before they you know, have iron on the ground and it becomes a delay associated with their production. And, you know, the contractor is willing to have that conversation with you and work through it with you more times than not versus they're standing around, they've got a major issue and it's becoming really expensive really quickly for your client because they're the ones paying the bill in the end of the day. That's great. And one last follow-up question on this, JC, you know, as the water division manager at Parametrics, you're overseeing 65 professionals. So your experience from when you started and you took on all those different opportunities, is that something now that you kind of encourage to your team members? Like how has that impacted the way you lead today? I certainly do. You know, um, I think it's important for a lot of us that come out of school, we have this idea of what an engineer is. And I don't think we know, I know personally, I didn't know what a consultant really was. <laughs> um, and what we do, you go through the technical school and then you land with a con um, a lot of us end up working for a consulting company and it's like, okay, what am I doing now? And so I thought I was going to, you know, do pump stations and things like that just because the university I went to Carroll college, uh, was mainly hydraulics based. And um, while I do some of that, I went out and got a lot of experience and uh, found a lot of different things that I'm passionate about just beyond, um, you know, water conveyance. So it's allowed me to broaden my perspective on the consulting industry, um, allow me to pursue other projects and manage other projects that I'm passionate about and, um, you know, deliver things for our clients that really help their communities and in the end make those communities better places to live. JC's message in this video is so important. 
early on in your career as an engineer, you need to do as much as you can. You need to soak everything up. I like to say, be a sponge, right? Do different things, learn different things. So you know what you like to do, what you're passionate about, and where you should really focus growing your career. I hope you enjoyed this video. We put out videos like this on a weekly basis to help engineering professionals become better managers and leaders. So please subscribe to our channel here so we can help you engineer your own success. I'll see you next week.